So this is what they give you at a hospital after you've been robbed of your phone at home and you call the police for assistance or to make note that your phone, your iPhone, has been stolen. Not only did they try to get you naked in there and make you feel a lot of ways that you shouldn't have been feeling in this hospital. All because I called the police because my phone was stolen out of my house. Okay? So before people go jumping out of windows and shit to make it seem like I lost my mind and I had behavioral issues and that's why I had to be rushed to the hospital by police escort, please understand that that is not what the fuck went down with Rosita Harris for a while. Okay? Alright, what you mean? So what went down? What went down was I called them to make note that my phone was stolen. And they treated me like I had depression issues. I said, I'm not depressed. They asked me if I wanted to kill myself. No, I said, no, I'm not. I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to kill myself. Motherfuckers want me to kill myself. But what was going to happen is I'm going to get them. Like, what the fuck? Does a person get tired of being pushed? People get pushed to suicide. And I know exactly how that shit can go to fuck them. All right? Through experience, sadly. Huh? God is good all the time. Understand? Even on the bad days. And I had a bad day today. This here supposed to be Easter. I mean, Halloween. I'm kidding. It's really east out this bitch. Look at the grass. Huh? And we live in North. Keep it clean. Huh? But that's what they gave him. They didn't even give me no papers for being in there. Did, they, did he hand you a paper? I took that. You took this. Ooh, you're a smart guy. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Seriously. It was like they were going to lock me away and nobody would have ever known why. Hmm? Leave it to them. I caught Corona or something. Huh? Got paperwork on my hospital paper. It says whenever I get into the hospital, if something was to happen to me in any event, later on down the line, do not resuscitate me. So I had to record since the men was taking me to the hospital, right? That if something was to happen to me, resuscitate me. That's what I said. That's what I said. I recorded that. For a reason. Because I see the plot that people be got. That people have out here. And it's real. And that's fucked up. You have some people play fiending. And some people really serious. Huh? And some people don't know how to take me, but they take me wrong anyway. Huh? You don't come and you ask me. You go through other people. And those sources don't know nothing. Just like that doctor over there trying to tell me how I felt. No, no, no. You're not going to guide this this episode, buddy, on how I'm going to feel about this situation. Because you don't have my body. You don't have my senses. You don't feel what I'm feeling. And you're not, I'm not going to let you tell me how I'm feeling. I'm going to tell you how I'm feeling. And then you can help me uh, sort that out. How about that? That's how that's supposed to go. It's not supposed to be you telling me what it is, but what I'm feeling. You're feeling this, no, because what happened to you is you probably lost this. And you probably put it down. And you mean you mistakenly. I didn't mistake nothing. Why are you touching my damn ear? My earring was already in. It was outside. You mean I did? <laughs> Look, 
motherfuckers to give you trees and shit and try to ask you if you want to smoke. That's why y'all got to be real careful who y'all smoke with and what type of weed you really smoking. Because a motherfucker put some PCP or some bullshit into your trees and that'll try to fuck you up for life. Please understand me, youngins. Hmm? While y'all all trying to be cool and get down with this, get down and do all that bullshit, please understand. Because that's exactly what the fuck happened to me. So I'm talking from experience, not from bullshit. Hmm? People would know because I let them test out the same shit that was done to me and they swore to God I set them up or tried to hurt them. And that's not true. But that is exactly what the fuck happened to me. Why everybody want to put me in some damn mental institution and try to set me up to be unstable. Or look mentally unstable when what you did was you stole my shit. You write that the fuck down. Oh, you got my shit. I'm going to say my accountant. I'll keep on saying that guy. He, He got my shit. Like, he holding it down. Keeping it safe from unwanted hands. Or so to speak. Speak until I get to him or he get to me. But like I fucking said, one must watch it because you can't trust everybody or anybody. And that's the truth that happened today. I just wanted to make that clear and freshly understood. Oh, that was a big factor, especially when people trying to not let you leave a fucking hospital. All right? And while people trying to make you play um, play you like you fucking crazy, talk about how empty that joint was. That's why I made that video. Like, you resuscitate me. You do all the fuck you can to make sure I'm the fuck good. Want to hear that? You the first one told me I was abused in that hospital. Why wouldn't I be the first one saying nah? Okay. Why wouldn't I be saying no? Why wouldn't I why would I agree to being to, to, to disrobing and being naked and all that old bullshit? Why? Why? Why would I okay that? Why would I say that was a, a, a thing to do for me? When I immediately came up in it just cause my phone got stolen from my house. Huh? Yeah, no. No, no, no. Just my phone got stolen from my house don't mean take me down to... I've had worse problems. I've had worse issues. You know? I lost a lot of people and I dealt with all of that depression and shit. Even your abuse by myself alone in that fucking house. So for somebody to try to take me to a damn hospital and try to enclose me in a little box that looked like that bullet that I'm going to break when I get in the fucking house. You know, that bullet with the two flowers. Anyway, I felt I like you. I felt like somebody done tried to lock the rose inside the flower, and I and then maybe you're trying to, to see. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the flower right now. I'm talking about myself as the flower. Then maybe you're trying to see if I'm gonna fucking run for that door that says exit when I'm not stupid. If I wanted to come for that hospital, I fucking could. You didn't give me no you didn't give me no direction, no paperwork, no nothing. You just said somebody gonna be calling me. How you gonna be calling me when I got a phone again that I cannot work with? And you stole my you stole my you stole my phone, but I, my pretty ass saved all the information, you know, the data that go to the emails. <laughs> Stupid. I got that. So anything that I claimed I was coming back for or coming to get, I could still do because I still got that. Now, you got that. And whoever got that and touches my accounts during this time, it's now, that's your ass. So in regards to what, let this sunshine because you need to understand that you still need me regardless. Not my daughter, not my niece, not my auntie, not my cousin, not my sister, but me. Write that the fuck down. Not my fake ass twin, 
Not the fake one, but the real one. Me. Damn, I kind of felt like Scarface without all the bullshit. But that be the truth. Anyway. Anywho.